is privacy important to you? Well, if you talk about uh, data protection, um, online privacy, mm -hmm. it's very important to me. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't use instant messaging, messaging systems. Uh, you don't? I, I don't have a smartphone, even. And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a smartphone until yeah. like three years ago. <laughs> uh, I didn't have it uh, f for that reason, but nowadays right. it's a good reason for not starting to have one. Absolutely, absolutely. Yourself? Yeah, I also think it's important. Mm -hmm. I do have a smartphone. I, do, I use instant messaging, mm -hmm. um, but I don't communicate anything important via mm -hmm. instant messaging. Why not? Because I'm not familiar with the topic of data security. Okay. In those uh, services, of course, I could read about them, but that's too much effort for me. So I'd rather just uh, communicate in person about face important, to face. yeah, about important topics. Sure, yeah. yeah. So. If uh, my data is not protected, when I say, uh, did you go to a bar last night right. to some friends, mm -hmm. I don't mind, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And the reason that you don't have a smartphone, um, is it because you're technologically challenged, or you just <laughs> say, oh, I did have I a smartphone once, it. no. Okay. Uh, I'm not. No, I'm not challenged. Okay. Uh, all of my family they have smartphones. Why, and I, why, what's 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 up with you? Are you the black sheep? Why? <laughs> <laughs> why aren't you using it? Uh, it's not for the uh, data protection reason. Okay. It's just because it takes so much time of your daily life. Uh, yeah, okay, that's true. You know, that's the only reason. I don't want to be, you know, online all the time and. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, getting back to your first question, I mean, we are from a university here and uh, we asked a lot of our students in some student mm -hmm. projects about right. uh, data privacy in Facebook Messenger, in WhatsApp. Yeah, oh, great. And they all tell you, yes, it's an important topic. Yeah. But if you ask them for the behavior, right. uh, as you just mentioned, yeah. they don't show that it's important. Yeah. So uh, it seems like if you ask them directly, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's an issue for me, mm -hmm. but they don't care as long as there's nothing bad happening. Right, yeah. And it's very crystal clear yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> you do have a smartphone. Yeah. Could I see it? Yes, sure. Is it, is it locked? Nope. Could you unlock it for me? Oh, it's, it's open. It's Can open. I, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go through your contacts here, okay? Yeah. And so you use WhatsApp? And I'm gonna start reading, I'm gonna start looking at your messages, okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? No. Why not? It's nothing important. So so but... then it'd be okay if I read it, yeah? You you have nothing to hide. <laughs> so it's absolutely okay if I read this. I mean I'm just what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm just one lonely guy here. I have no authority backing me or anything like that. So yeah. this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes you feel uncomfortable, no? Yeah. yeah. Right. <clears throat> a lot of people do use WhatsApp. Yeah. And we all know who owns WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we, but I think one thing that people don't really realize is that when you first sign up with WhatsApp, it tells you we need access to your contact list. Yeah, I know that. And they are allowed to pass on your contact list right. and everything. Else. Right. But, and not only the first time, mm -hmm. continuously. All the time. They regularly look at your contact list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because they are owned by Facebook, they share their data with Facebook. And it's written in the privacy policy. But yeah, people... nobody cares because they don't see it. I think it's a, you have to experience it in some way. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you don't see like your data is uploaded to Facebook right now, mm -hmm. well, you don't see, you don't like, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And as I said before, it's in, you have to get some negative experience out of it. You okay. have to see that someone is misusing your data right. and you're getting something, but you don't see the effect because it's a general effect. You, mm -hmm. uh, people are using your data, sure. but again, you don't see how they're using it. And when you, and once you are faced with this fact that they are using your data, I, I for one, believe you have no right mm -hmm. to stand there and say, what? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, yeah. nobody told me. Yeah, yeah. Everybody told you! Yeah, but, but the thing is, you know it. For example, um, last week I was looking up flights. Okay. And I know they are going to read my messages, how I told my friends I'm going to come on this and this date. Um, they're 
gonna raise the prices mm -hmm. if I continuously look within a week, maybe. So um, you can react to that. You can just use another computer. Sure. It's it's uh, connected to your cookies. It's connected to your to IP address. Um, I think it's important that you get information um, how you can avoid the bad consequences. Okay, okay, I agree. <clears throat> One, my last question. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm from a, a company mm -hmm. uh, named Cryptvisor. We're a cybersecurity company. And yes, we've created the world's first decentralized uh, blockchain authenticated mm -hmm. messenger, which means we have we don't have your name, we don't have your email address, we don't even have your mobile number. Mm -hmm. All authentication is done over a blockchain. Mm -hmm. So for us, you are anonymous, 100% mm -hmm. anonymous to us. Would this be something that could push you? Yeah, <laughs> I like the idea. You like the idea? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's two aspects. It's one that you're not yet a big company, you have no interest uh, mm -hmm. in buying the data, using the data. That's not your first right. goal. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. We can't buy the data because we don't no. have any. So so you have to earn money otherwise. You don't Absolutely. need the data then. Absolutely. Right. And wow. and as, as much as I learned about blockchain technology, I think there's something to it that you can rely on it. If even banks start mm -hmm. working with that. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you are aware of the new data protection law here, correct? Mm -hmm. And what do what is your take on it? What do you think about it? Good thing, bad thing, not not necessary, not needed. What do you think? I think uh, I think it should be there. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Uh, yes. Why? Because you have to protect your data for the privacy, for the confidentiality from your point of view that how it, it's not going to be leaked and it's not going to be misused by someone. Okay. So for that you have to make sure that it's confidential between you and your partner or something like between your family to have a privacy into your life. Okay. So the owners, owner should be on, uh, on for, for example that I should be the owner of either either I want to basically uh, get this published or not? Is it, is it, is it something uh, that's where you know, the owner should be on me? I mean, the, the decision of right. getting the data shared should be on me. It should be asked like you ask me, right? Right. Whether right. you want to get interviewed or not. So basically, you believe that you should be the final authority on whether or not whatever you write, whatever you take a picture of you should have the final say on who sees it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds logical. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> it sounds it's logical. Like, yes. I'm going to ask you a question. Can I, can I see your phone? Yeah. Is it locked? It's locked. Could you unlock it for me? Why? 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 I, I would like to take a look at your contacts. Uh, I cannot. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's my confidential data. <laughs> if you, exactly. If you have allowed Facebook and WhatsApp to look at all of your contacts, why not let me look at them? <laughs> Who am I? I'm just a little guy. I understood you. I understood. The, the moment you asked this contact, I understood. <laughs> yes. So I, I agree with you, actually. Mm -hmm. So, but then... Um, to make so life you, simple, you, we so sometimes make simple. simple, we sometimes do that. <laughs> but that's a mistake, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. I agree. Yeah, I, I got a point. Okay. Do, do you know of any messenger that is anonymous that does not have any access to your contacts? No, I don't there, think so. I, there's one. I, would, I don't know an emo. WhatsApp, there, there's one. Gmail. Emo yeah, is yeah. doing it. Emo is also doing it. <clears throat> no, there's a, there's a new messenger that's blockchain authenticated. Okay. It's decentralized. Mm -hmm. So there's no server that they could just block or shut off. Mm -hmm. And it has no access to your contacts. It has no access to your photo gallery. Mm -hmm. it, everything is within its own ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Is this sound? Does this sound like something that you would be interested in? A messenger that works just like all the other instant messengers, mm -hmm. but it's anonymous. It doesn't require your name. It doesn't require your mobile number. 
and it doesn't require your email address. So how does it's... blockchain? Okay. All the authentication is done over a blockchain. Okay. Okay. Does Fine. it sound interesting? Yeah. So, <clears throat> we walked, we talked, and we did some discovery. Uh, most people were aware that the instant messaging app they use is not, does not really care too much about their privacy, even though all of the uh, re respondents did care about their privacy. So we are at a conundrum here. Yes, I care about my privacy. Yes, I am aware that the instant messaging app I use really doesn't, but what can I do? So <clears throat> we are aware of the issue, and most of them, when they were confronted with the idea of Cryptvisor, yeah, that is a good idea. And yes, I would pay for this service in order to protect my privacy. So <clears throat> I think this is something that we're going to find out more and more and more, that more people are aware of how dangerous it can be that their data is not protected. Messages, contacts, photos, video, you name it. And I think more and more people are becoming aware of how important it is to protect this data. So, next time, who knows where we'll be. Maybe in Berlin, maybe in Hamburg. But we're going to keep speaking to people and try to find out exactly how they feel about their privacy. And if Cryptvisor has a part in this, which I believe they do. So, until next time, take care.